Time to get a grip on safety. I'm Rick. Shut the heck up, you stinking boosters. This is a check. Hey everybody, welcome. Hey, if you're new to the channel, first time stop you by, thank you so much for taking some of your time out to view. Always ask that you would consider subscribing. If you do, ring the ding 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 that bell down there so you are notified when these videos do come out. Yeah, I'm kind of like Johnny come lately. I am not on any bandwagon and it takes a while for me to, I think, for lack of a better word, warm up to something. My last video I put out I just did a quick video of the process I go through when I build my rustic flags. When I made that video, I watched my videos probably four or five times, making sure I don't see some, make a mistake, do something wrong, so I go back and edit it, and I kept seeing the part where I was ripping, where I was cutting my uh, slats down to size, I thought, man, my fingers are close. Even though my stepfather had a cabinet shop nobody there ever lost fingers because we all respected the table saw the power tools because it was very dangerous and we always taught a way to cradle our hand over the fence and push the stock through so we would never falter we always had like the fence was our, our brace we'd hold on to the fence slide the material through so we always kept it right there it was just something we were taught because we didn't have any safety equipment back then and this table saw that i had is 50 years old it came from the shop it's an old atlas table saw and there is nothing on your safety i actually had to fabricate my own dust collection for it and if you want to see anything about the renovation of this table saw well i'll have links up here if you want to check anything any of that out but watching that video it really opened my eyes of how close i get to the blade of my table saw when i'm ripping and cutting material so i don't want to take a chance anymore I was watching that and I said, you know what, I don't care, I'm going to break down, I'm going to buy me something to push it through so I know what I was looking for. At the show, really to me it wasn't a show special, they just came, gave you a few bucks off. I probably could have found them online cheaper if I really wanted to take time and look. But I wanted it so I could do more of my flags and I want to make sure my fingers are staying away from that blade now. So, I bought me the gripper. <laughs> Yeah, I paid $54 for that to show. I don't think that's real big of a sale, but again, I guess I have to put in my mind I can't put a price on my fingers. $50 to save these is worth it to me. Just a completely new concept, so after watching it and talking with them, I decided these are worth the $54 I spent to keep them and not lose them. So come up here, I'm gonna dump this out. I've never owned one, never, really don't really know much about it other than I see everybody using it. So, Johnny come lately, I'm aboard. I got my safety push block now, because I wanna keep my fingers. So let's dump it out, assemble it, and just see what's all involved. So this is the gripper. This is the GR, I think 200. Nothing fancy, basic model. Again, I paid $54 at the show for it. And I am very late to get on the bandwagon because they say right here over 700,000 of these sold worldwide. So one thing I do like about it, it is made in the USA. So let's open this up. I've opened it, looked at it, but I've not even dumped it out, so I have no idea. You've got the full instructions here. I guess tips and tricks and things for it. I haven't even looked at that yet. And these are all the parts. Well, I guess I got the GR100. This is the very basic model, which is fine, it's what I need. So let's assemble this. I'll move this out of the way. We're going to start with the base and the handle. To mount the handle to the base, or I should say main body, we're going to use the two quarter 20 pan head screws. These are quarter 20 by three quarter. 
the two quarter 20 by half washers and we're going to use the two quarter 20 oval nuts. So put the washer on the screws. We're going to put the screws through the handle. Use a Phillips screwdriver. All we need to put this together, the only tool. And I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to hold that. And on the oval nut, you want the raised edge, that little ridge of the oval nut, facing the top. So it's going to be facing this way. Not the bottom, you're going to have that facing the handle. Screw that in a little bit. Do the other side the same. Just enough to hold it on. Now we slide this, slide them through, get this one lined up. Turn it, turn it, slide it in. Now we just take our Fill up screwdriver and just snug it. Don't need to be real tight, just gonna hold there for now because we want to do adjustments later. And there we have it. That's the main body and the handle hooked up. Next thing we're gonna do, we're going to take the I guess this is the uh, centering leg because it's the wider of the three. And the little slots we're going to just slide. Slide those in. That's how it slides in, just like that. But before we do that, we're going to take these two green dovetail bolts, set those in here on either side. And now we get to drop these in here and turn them so they fit. Pretty good about getting that in there. Slide it in. There they go. Slide it in, and that's how that goes on. These are number two 7 16 washers. Put one on each side, and then put the tightener on. Same thing on this side. Washer. Then the green round knob. And that's how that works. You tighten it and it doesn't move. Now, we got that on. Next step is to fasten the side legs, which are these. Doesn't matter which side, one's a half inch, one's a quarter inch. Basically, no matter what side you put it on, you can flip this around to have either the half inch running next to your fence or the quarter inch running next to your fence and you simply set it on there like that. You go and take one of the 10 32nd half inch pan heads with one of the number 10 7 16th washers. Oops. Go through those and they fit in the recessed area. And you see right here, you'll have brass thread inserts here. That's what you're gonna thread into. You line that up. And I always go backwards till I hear the screw click in there. Right there, go forward, and you're done. Same thing on this one. Put it in here, line it up, you feel it. Re Counterclockwise, so here, click. Right there, go forward. Clockwise, tighten it in. Same thing on this side. Smooth side facing out, this side faces in. Reverse, here click, and go forward. Never worry about a cross thread if you do that. And there's the basic base set up. Now you have two more of the thumb screws, the green thumb screws, two washers. This is your balance support. 
doesn't matter which side, you can take it off. Basically, when you set this on a piece of wood, you can have a tendency to tip over one way as you run it through. So if you run it through the fence of this side, you can like fall like that. This on the side prevents it from tipping over, keeps it secure. So this is your balance support. And we put that on by one, the thumb screws, a washer. And on the side here, you see the insert of the brass screws on both sides, so you can flip it, make it the other side you want. Simply set that down, insert the screws on this same thing here. Put these two together, put the washer, and then a thumb screw, put it in. Now when I set this on here, I let that slide down, keep it here, tighten it up. Now it's not going to tip, it's going to keep a balance on here and you use it to run your material through. If you have the GR200, you're more likely going to use this because these go to attachment that attaches here that require the O rings. Got the basic, that's all I need. And that is how you put this together. Just for demonstration purposes, let's just say I was going to cut this piece of wood to that thickness. I would get my thinner size, so I'm going to switch this over, flip it around, so now I have the thin side. You see, right there is my blade. That way it rides better because this side, it would be too close, it would hit. So I flip it over, get the quarter inch side, gives me room to, to slide them material through there without it cutting into my jig here. Put my balance support back on. Wouldn't tighten it yet. Set my material down. Set this down. Again, see? If I didn't have the support, I could tip it. Set that down. Keep this firm. Tighten this up. And now, I can keep my material as I feed it through. And because the thin stock's there, I'm going to raise my blade up. See, when I, I'll set this on it, when I feed it through, see, it's going to miss. If I had it on this side, it would cut. So the thinner side, when I'm cutting a little bit thinner, I can move this, and now when I feed the material through, not going to interfere at all. It does not rock and this thing see, it keeps it with me. The material does not slide so I can keep it pushed next to that and feed it through. And I'm good to go. My hands stay up here. All this is covering me all the way around. Perfect. Safety. Keep my fingers safe. Well I know I'm definitely going to feel a lot safer now. And I'm really surprised I haven't had slack from people saying, your fingers are close, you're this or that. No one said that. But then again, I don't get very many views. But in any case, now I got a gripper and I feel much safer. I'm surprised I waited so long. But again, I didn't want to spend the money. But I figured they are getting a little bit too valuable now. I don't want to lose them this late in life. <laughs> So I'm on the bad wagon with the gripper. Uh, it may take a few months or a little bit, maybe even next year I may buy another one. But for now, I think this is going to be just what I need. I don't need any extras just yet. But for now, I think this is going to do just what I need to do. I think that's going to be it. So I got my gripper. I'm ready to go. I got a few other things to do. Then I gotta clean some more and then get back to, to woodworking. Thank you so much for watching Be Blessed. Take back your time <coughs> for your sanity. Keep it safe. Keep your fingers. Get your gripper. See you next video.